The world needs new technologies. Thanks to gadgets and robots, our life becomes more comfortable and work more efficient. In Kazakhstan, the catalyst for progressive scientific thought can be called Nazarbayev University. It is a kind of center of attraction for innovations, where both experienced entrepreneurs and startups build their business. Hello, my name is Sarah Akishev, and this is The World of Startups. The area of the campus of Nazarbayev University is almost 146 hectares. In this vast territory, there are 70 research and training laboratories, several administrative buildings, as well as technology park. This is a full city in the city. At Nazarbayev University, eight innovative schools are being taught, where a special environment has been created for students and teachers. They are taught to think critically and learn independently, directing their resources in the right direction. Since technological revolutions in our world occur almost every day, a non-standard approach to solving a problem is the main key to which the innovative schools of Nazarbayev University strive for. Therefore, it is guaranteed that graduates will be in demand in all industries, as well as in government institutions. The core of the innovation cluster of the Nazarbayev University is the Asana Business Campus. Its task is to unite foreign and Kazakh companies, a knowledge-intensive small and medium business in one place. That is, all those who are ahead of their time and know how to make their dreams come true. Among startups who have implemented their ideas within the walls of Asana Business Campus, Edgestick occupies a special place, a service for monitoring acreage using remote sensing technologies. This company has already received several rounds of financing and today successfully sells its services. We received several rounds of investment. The first round was in March 2018. The university's commercialization office approved a sum of 30 million tenge, of which we spent 60% on equipment. For the rest of the funds, we collected a team, developed a prototype. During our work, we made two prototypes and tested them on future customers. Today, the platform is 80% complete. The minimum functionality of the platform will help Kazakhstan farmers to get information for planning activities to increase yields. The certificate includes a field image, vegetation index, humidity, chlorophyll and nitrogen. To obtain this information, the system determines the boundaries of the cadastral number and, on the basis of this data, sends requests to the American and European space agencies. Those, in turn, send satellite images taken from the orbit of the Earth. After downloading, the images undergo an atmospheric correction. It includes cleaning up the ozone layer, cirrus clouds, and other possible deviations. Ultimately, the user gets a clear drawing of his cadastral parcel. In the summer, these data, for example, allow you to see areas overgrown with weeds. And in the winter, they help to measure the level of snow in order to calculate the volume of moisture content. In addition, the site can be free to keep an agronomist diary, as well as track weather data, wind direction and speed, as well as the soil temperature. Each biomass has its own unique spectral signature, according to which we plan to classify under usefulness or uselessness. It is necessary for the farmer to know how much wheat is growing, first of all, and to know how many percent of the field it occupies, to know its location and to take exact measures to combat it. And the larger the area, the lower the price per hectare. One order takes an average of three to four hours. According to the calculations of the founders of the startup, 4,000 applications per season will help their business to go on self-sufficiency. 
In the future, we plan to add, expand our functionality with the addition of a mobile application, with which you can download offline images on your territory. This will allow you to go to your site and using GPS, coordinate accurately, determine and study in detail exactly the place that is interesting to you without the internet, without the participation of networks and connections. In the near future, startups want to refine the program interface and then conduct a marketing campaign. After all, business processes will be established in Kazakhstan. They plan to scale the service to neighboring countries. First of all, to Russia, to a neighboring country with large acreage. The General Electric Ventures Foundation wants to find a buyer for the entire venture portfolio in which there are over a hundred startups worth three and a half billion U.S. dollars. According to experts, its sales is connected with the financial problems of the parent company, whose debt rose to 110 billion U.S. dollars. The German giant created its venture capital unit in 2013. Its speciality is investments in companies related to energy, technology and health. Amazon and several other companies have invested $575 million in delivery service Deliveroo. With this round of financing, the total investment in the service headquartered in London has reached $1,500,000,000. During the previous round in September 2017, when Deliveroo raised $482 million, it was valued at $2 billion. This means that the capitalization of the startup continues to grow steadily. An innovation cluster is a special entrepreneurial environment that promotes the development of new technologies. To create such an ecosystem, it is necessary to properly structure the work of its key elements, such as a business incubator, a techno park, experimental laboratories, and, of course, office commercialization. In all these areas, Nazarbayev University has succeeded significantly. In March 2019, a participant in the innovation cluster of the Nazarbayev University, a startup Oku, today received from the Samruk Bilim Fund an investment of 8,500,000 tingye. Six of them were spent on the creation and refinement of the digital educational platform. The rest of the money was spent on marketing. In our platform, the main teachers are students who have won the Republican competitions or have some achievement in their field. We believe that they can explain the material much easier. When there is a significant difference in age between people and the person himself went through the path of learning, he listened to lectures himself, he could tell what life hacks he used to learn the material as quickly and easily as possible. Today, 180 students are registered on the site. They can view demo courses and educational materials. Arman Jankin was one of the first to use. He recently completed a training program for the foundation and entered the Nazarbayev University as an economist. Despite the fact that courses for admission to ordinary state universities on a unified national testing and entrance exams are different here, the courses helped me to strengthen my knowledge in mathematics and physics. So far, only two ready-made courses in mathematics and physics have been published on the digital platform. They include videos, tests and mini-olympiads. In addition, through the site, the student can contact the teacher directly and ask for a non-standard task, which requires more time and effort to solve. Our users have the opportunity to leave a comment, evaluate our teachers and the courses themselves, and also have the opportunity to write private messages and, of course, contact technical support if any problems arise. The technical part of the platform allows you to conduct webinars and work with visual 3D models. Such functions will be useful, for example, to biologists who study mammal or bird species. This year, we plan to introduce international competitions, notes and group tasks. 
I would also like to note that in our application, you can not only use grouped courses, you can also group them yourself, according to your preferences. For example, to complete courses and call them the courses that I want to take over the summer, or courses for entering the university. Over time, startups are planning to add new courses that will help students develop comprehensively. These courses include the programming module, one of the most popular subjects in Kazakhstan. We make money by selling courses, so this is not a subscription. You go to your account and buy a course. It costs 4,000 tingye. For this price, you get all the footage, all the tests and additional applications to it. And thus, you have full access to the platform, including feedback from the teacher. Work on this digital platform is not yet complete. According to the developers, they want to bring their program to perfection to remove bugs, fix errors, protect the system from pop-up ads. Thus, nothing will distract visitors from training. I would like to tell you a little bit about three apps that I use, mobile apps that I use in my work. And uh, since we are now in the 21st century, all the, children, all the students that we teach are digital natives. Basically, they are millennials who, who work very well with technology, who are probably much better than teachers. Uh, in, in most cases, are much better than teachers with the technology. However, there are certain things that we do very well here at Nazarbayev University. And one of them is that I use very often is, 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 a, is a platform called Nearpod. And uh, there, are, there are several other platforms, but I've kind of uh, used Nearpod most of the time. So what it allows you is it allows the teacher to pose a question to the student and uh, collect the answers. So it, it's kind of a simultaneous polling system where uh, every student who has a mobile phone or a tablet or a computer can access this uh, class, the, the presentation that I'm teaching, and uh, access this poll that, you know, the, the questions that I pose. Uh, that in, in those cases, you can use a very interesting um, uh, app, mobile app that's called Flickers. What it what it uh, what it does is that basically, with the same kind of logic that the Nearpod, it's it's an instant polling. But what it does is that allows you to print out the pieces of paper with um, with different answer options. And everybody has the, the, this printed pieces of paper, and the and the teacher walks around with their phone or their iPad and actually scans the classroom for the answers and the answers are registered and uh, and you can see them on the big screen and another thing that we use so it was about teaching and uh, now the service right our, fa our faculty do a lot of administrative work to you know to improve Nazarbayev University so in terms of service uh, the I, I chair a hiring committee at our school that means that I have to have meetings with faculty with with other teachers right and uh, these meetings require a lot of planning because teachers are always busy. They teach, you know, they have different kinds of commitments. So I, I administer doodle polls. Doodle polls are very often I administer doodle polls so I know that a week in advance what's the availability of people, whether we can get a quorum for the meeting, for instance. Nazarbayev University is considered the locomotive of the state program Digital Kazakhstan. And there are two good reasons for this. First, basic digitalization projects have been implemented here. Among them, electronic document management and well-built telecommunications infrastructure. The second reason is startups that have been accelerated at this university and are already bringing their digital results. Few people know that in 2017, the first Metropolitan Social Café was opened in Nazarbayev University, where people with intellectual disabilities work. This is a long-term and serious project, the creation of which involved the doctors of the Mental Health Medical Center in Nur Sultan and restaurant business experts. Um, this is more than a cafe. This is a social project that gives people with disabilities the opportunity to make friends, test themselves, learn basic skills, get a technical education, do internship at work, and make something of themselves.
The name of this place, Kanda, which means on the sunny side, perfectly conveys its atmosphere. In addition, if you remove the letter K from it, you will get Yunde, which translates as speak or express. In this case, to draw public attention to current issues. Our development strategy is not to be another cafe with a fun concept, but to try to solve the problem on a systematic level. First of all, it's actually cheaper for the state when everything is separate. Second of all, it is a partnership between the public, business and the state. Thirdly, it is much better for the children themselves when they are given a chance to enter society. It turns into a huge therapeutic effect. Before hiring people for the project, the project's founders launch a training center where people are first trained in simple everyday skills, cooking, washing dishes, and then more complicated things such as baking bread and taking orders. Last year, we were trained in a special training center. We were taught how to work quickly and smoothly. But most importantly, we learned how to properly and beautifully serve the table. The menu of this institution was made taking into account the gastronomical preferences of students and teachers of Nazarbayev University, the main visitors to a social cafe. In our cafe, there is both European and Asian cuisine. Students and teachers come here to have a good time. Here, we have music, a playground and board games. During several years of work, the startup has received an investment of nearly $50,000. This amount includes funds received from the UN, Nazarbayev University, the U.S. Embassy in Kazakhstan, the Sabi Foundation, as well as personal savings of business founders and money raised through a crowdfunding campaign at the Indiegogo site. Despite the complexity of the project, it quickly became self-sufficient, just three months after the launch. Now, we have a very active work on standardization. If earlier it was like a family business because they practically did everything themselves, now there is a very strict standardization, right up to who and what should write on the chalkboard and so on. In fact, the founders of a startup are preparing a free business case to help entrepreneurs from other regions of Kazakhstan who want to open a similar case. This step-by-step -step instruction will tell you how to avoid mistakes when opening a social cafe and, at the same time, will help people with intellectual disabilities to live and work confidently in modern society. Relog bought the marketplace for Fright 20 tons. This acquisition will help the company to become a leader in the Kazakhstan market in the provision of IT products and logistics. It will also allow the company's clients to get direct access to the Fright exchange with easy integration. According to representatives of startups, both companies will benefit from the merger. Relog will receive a base of active users in the field of transportation, a 20 tons, a professional team that has extensive experience in the logistics field. Almaty is launching a kick-sharing system, a short-term rental of electric scooters. The rental price will be 25 tingia per minute and plus 100 tingia for unlocking. This is one of the lowest prices in the world. For example, in Paris, renting an electric scooter costs 420 tingia per minute. In Amsterdam, 120 and in Berlin, 80. The first kick scooters were trackless, that is, they had no fixed parking. They could be left anywhere, which led clutter to sidewalks and pedestrian areas. In order to avoid this, scooters in Almaty at the first stage will have 35 rental stations. By the end of 2019, 500 electric scooters with anti-vandal protection and GPS trackers will appear in the city. Everything in this world is interconnected, and much more than we sometimes think. And this is evidenced by such facts as the increase in the number of innovative projects and the growth of the national economy. This was Sarah Kakishev and the program The World of Startups. 
See you soon. Startups.